What's up, YouTube? Oh boy, today I'm going to work on the underbay storage again. So, after I put in that sewage pipe, the, the drain for the everything, I call it the sewer dump. Anyways, this is too high. So, let me show you that a little bit closer. Now I can't get the hose on here and come out without going up and over this. And this lip is too tall anyhow, if you can see it over there. Because the floor panels are only two inches thick, there's about three extra inches sticking up there. So, I didn't want to lose the rub rails for the way that it looked. I really wanted to keep the rub rails going down the side. So what I think I can do is just cut the rub rails off, reinforce that bottom with another angle iron, and then put the rub rails back onto the doors when I get the doors built. So that's what I'm gonna work on today. We'll see how it goes. Okay guys, so I got that all cleared out, so you can see how much I can lower that. It's going to be a clear shot for the drainage out of there. And I went on the ends, and I got those guys through the skin, through the rib, and into the angle iron where I could. Some places I couldn't get all three, but... Anyhow, I think I'm ready to go. Uh, I gotta put new hanger rods out in the middle of that one and I think I'm ready to about put this one in. So when I originally did this, I got these quarter sunk, counter sunk, excuse me, I got these counter sunk bolts to tag those down so they wouldn't stick up and the pans could lay on them. But they're black oxide and they're rusting already so I'm going to change those out for some plated bolts and just actually use the bolt to hold the corner in at the same time. So I can get rid of those rusty bolts and hook my corners in all in one shot. Okay guys, cutting another hole in the bus because I made the tank fill through the city water connection and you basically open a valve up there and it filled the tank. But it took like 30 minutes to fill the tank. So I think I'm gonna try one of these gravity fill ones. And I wanna put that in before I get this floor in. So cutting this hole here, trying to get it in through the side of the bus, see how it goes. What's that? What goes in there? Oh. Change into the gravity fill. I think I can dump it in there a lot quicker with the big hose. Oh, yeah. Inch and a quarter. Worst case scenario, I'll just patch it back over. Right. That's I'm going to throw that in there before I put that uh, panel in. I'm ready right. to put that baby in. Always nice, isn't it, though, when you get stuff like that kind of in place, isn't it, though? I'm going to be anxious to see how fast I can squirt it full of water. Exactly. So this is one of the reasons I kind of tried to avoid having to put this gravity fill spout in here was to get it up high enough to gravity feed. I barely missed the 
No, I, I need to go in right there, so I gotta get in there and oh, maybe I can just bend that out of the way. Hose needs to go right through there and then there's another piece back in there I'm gonna have to cut through. So that was a good reason I really didn't want to do it that way. I don't know how I'm gonna get back in there to cut that sucker. Okay guys, check this out. I always find this amazing. <laughs> there's the stuff I cut out of the hole. Use the sawzall, the angle grinder. It's just a simple little hole. So I went and got the hose. And I already had this thing because this is how I was originally going to do it. So, see if I can get that hose fished over the river and through the woods. To Randy's water tank we go. <laughs> Okay guys, here it is up to the uh, water tank, the inlet at the top of the water tank. Pretty easy to get in there because I just came through this cross member here. So I'll get that pushed up on there and tighten it up. Got two hose clamps since it's such a long spout. Okay guys, got that all on there. So it comes down under, in through this cross member here. All I gotta do is just tuck it up and you can see the hole I'm headed for over there. That white glowy light, that's where I'm headed. <laughs> okay, so there she is into the top of the tank. It has to come down and through that cross member. And then it goes back up over the main frame and over there and out the side of the bus where it's going to hook onto the fill spot. So I think that should work pretty good. I don't know if that's going to be a natural water trap there, if that will be a good thing. We'll find out. Wow, you guys, that wasn't very hard at all. That stuff's 3 16 thick, but it's fairly soft, so that didn't even take like uh, a minute. I, I pre-drilled the pilot hole so it was easier, but the actual hole saw, I might have to buy another hole saw, but it was worth it to get the hole through there. <laughs> okay guys, I got it this time. Got my hole up in through there. Got a nice gentle bend, no more kinking. So I should have easy flow into that tank. And that connection over there is gonna go down pretty easily, I think, so I'll go work on that. I used the die grinder and uh, deburred the hole up there. So it won't cut my hose. So I'm, I'm ready to put the floor in here now after this little side trip. The screws are hitting in the corner of the hole. So if I take them out and drill the hole out, put a washer behind it, I can get move, this thing clasped in there. Uh -huh. so just take those guys out and put the bolts back in. the nut up there on that one. <laughs> well, that'll be something to ponder overnight. Pop rivet? Anyhow, yeah, I can put a quarter inch of pop. There's my little fill spout. And took quite a bit of work to get it over there without a kink in the hose. And to get through all this material right here was a bad place to go through. But I had no choice. It had to be higher than the top of the tank. And I couldn't go up here. It would have been into the living or into the bedroom wall. So it all fit. So I'm grateful for that. And yes, I'm going to have to put quarter inch pop rivet in there. That's a good idea. I have them once in a while. Maybe it's from living with you, baby. You rub That's off sure. on me. 
It's because you're a bright, intelligent young woman. That's why. <laughs> no, I don't want anything. That's just what I mean. <laughs> you're amazing. You're awesome. Hope you guys had fun watching this. It was fun doing it. It's hot today, but um, the end result, I think the water's going to go in this a lot quicker than 30 minutes. I might be wrong. I can always but, switch it back and put it back the other way because I got 60 extra feet of rub rail, so. Well, but also no having worries. the option of not having to um, screw the hose onto it. That yeah. might be kind of nice. Yeah. So. The hose that what the, the line that went into the tank for the fill line, I took this, the valve off of it and it dumps out the bottom and it's now the overflow, the, the vent. So it's a win-win all around. It's a win-win. Okay, this video is over. Cut to the end. Hope you guys Bye. are having a great day. Lots of love in your life. Good luck with your projects. Be careful. Don't make your videos go so long that your editor goes, What are you doing? Bye, everyone.